the Audi TT Cup car, four inline petrol engine, 310 horsepower, and with only 1,125 kilograms, a real lightweight. All the details now from the three-time Le Mans champion, Marco Werner. Yeah, we have here the uh, TT Cup from 2000. Here we have the Audi TT Cup 2016. There are little differences to the street version, like special air inlets for engine cooling and charge air cooling. Important for the aerodynamics is this splitter. It delivers contact pressure and brings a lot of speed in the turns. That's important for the boys and the girls. Here we see a wheel spacer. It helps the car stay solid on the track and is very important. More aerodynamics on the rear axle with a big rear wing like you see in the DTM, but not a folding wing. We drive with a push-to-pass system them to have the opportunity to overtake. I'll show you inside now. Stepping in is not very easy. This is because of the roll bar which protects the driver in case of an accident. The seat is also important for safety. It holds the driver very tight if something hits the side of the car. You can see this, how deep I am sitting here. The steering wheel is pure motorsport, like you have in the Formula One and the WEC with Audi. Paddle shifts on the wheel and a lot of buttons, very important. Push to pass, additional to the 310 horsepower, you receive 30 more. That's the button a racing driver likes. Like last year in its premiere season, the Audi TT Cup 2016 stands for a lot of action. So to the grid for race number two, Dennis Marshall on pole position, Eunice Lapperlein and P2, Sheldon van der Linde will go from P3 with Christoph Hofbauer, Niklas Nielsen, Josh Cagle, Patrick Exgard, Max Hofer, Garcia Redest and Andreas Mikkelsen rounding out the top ten on the grid for race number two, weather conditions even hotter than yesterday as the Audi cars roar off and that was an absolutely brilliant start from Andreas Mikkelsen who dived through the inside of the pack that you saw there. But Dennis Marshall then, who would like very much to win the second race. He was denied yesterday by Sheldon van der Linde, but he's doing everything absolutely right at the moment by leading the race. It's P1 for Dennis Marshall, P2 for Sheldon van der Linde, and Eunice Lapalainen coming under a bit of pressure in P3, as you can see from the Christoph Hofbauer car, and also Niklas Nielsen that's in the mix too. So they're heading up around the Parabolica now, heading towards the hairpin here at Hockenheim, and this is Emil Lindholm on Max Hofer. Three abreast they go, heading up towards that uh, hairpin that I mentioned, and uh, huge, huge smoke coming off the Dennis Marshall car. Now, surely that cannot be tyre smoke. He was out on his own in the uh, race lead, therefore no one will have been able to touch him. The bodywork should not be rubbing on the tyre. Well, whatever it is, it's hampering his efforts, because going past now is Sheldon van der Linde. Also going past is uh, Eunice Lapalainen. And Dennis could lose out on P4 as well. Absolutely rotten luck for Dennis Marshall. Let's find out exactly what went wrong. I think during the second or third lap when I hit the curbs, the rear tire started grinding. I still don't know why and how we have to analyze the situation. And obviously I had big problems with it, especially in the beginning. So it was tyre smoke that caused the problems for Dennis Marshall then. One driver that was able to take advantage of that, Sheldon van der Linde. To be fair, I don't really know what went wrong with him. It's a shame that, that we couldn't battle it out on track. But uh, yeah, it, it was good for me that I could uh, drive away and yeah, secure maximum points. Well, Dennis Marshall loses out on another couple of uh, places. Going past now, it's um, Hofbauer and also Niklas Nielsen. Now, Andreas Nicholson, you can see in the uh, red, silver and black machine, who you will recall got an absolutely blistering start off the line. Well, it was judged to be too blistering a start off the line and has been given a drive-through penalty for a jump start. So, Andreas Mickelson in uh, car number 96 is going to have to serve a drive-through penalty. The order then is van der Linde, Lapalainen, and Hofbauer, Nielsen, then it's Marshall, ignore Mickelson. Uh, then it's Cagle and uh, Emil Lindholm. So here then is the drive-through penalty for uh, one of our guest drivers, Andreas Mickelson. Gets that for the uh, jump start. Now we thought he got a blistering start. Let's see in replay, see if we can pick out the uh, jump start. Oh yeah, the car moves before the red lights go out and therefore he's able to take advantage of uh, that move when the lights did eventually go out. Bear in mind that the race control have all sorts of sensors everywhere so it's very easy for them to pick up on a jump start like that. And uh, well, Mickelson 
does get penalised. There's our race leader, Sheldon van der Linde. There's Eunice Lapalainen running in uh, P2. Now, Eunice Lapalainen really being hounded by uh, Christoph Hofbauer because Dennis Marshall, well, the tyre problem seems to have gone away for the uh, moment. There is Scott Speed driving in uh, car number 97, another one of the guest drivers in the uh, Audi Sport TT Cup. And indeed, Hofbauer does get past uh, Eunice Lapalainen. And also going past is Niklas Nielsen in the yellow car as well. Let's see it in replay then as they run up towards the hairpin. Now, Hofbauer goes to the outside, which means that he will cut inside as Eunice Lapalainen tries to defend. Lapalainen runs wide. That will also allow Niklas Nielsen through as well. Well, the battle between uh, Christoph Hofbauer and uh, Niklas Nielsen would intensify, as you can see, and uh, it's Hofbauer on the inside, Niklas Nielsen uh, to the outside, as once again they go through the hairpin. But on this occasion, Hofbauer is able to deny Nielsen as he tries to close the door now. Niklas Nielsen with uh, great power there. When the uh, rear quarter light LEDs are flashing, it means the push to pass is being used, but Hofbauer is using it to push to defend. And Hofbauer really having to defend now and runs a little bit wide with the momentum that Niklas Nielsen has. That could be enough, and indeed it is enough. Niklas Nielsen with an uh, excellent overtake there, and that puts him into P2. Sheldon van der Linde is leading the race by some five and a half seconds, but Nielsen is now P2. Then it's Hofbauer, Lapalainen, Marshall, who's managed to keep going, and he's in P5. Then it's Josh Cagill, Emil Lindholm, and uh, Hofer is running in uh, P8. Exgard, Holton and Speed all together here, but Holton carrying too much speed. He runs out wide. That advantages Exgard, but it advantages Scott Speed more than anybody else. And whoa, Holton getting all out of shape on the grass, but manages the uh, save. But the uh, big beneficiary there was uh, the guest driver in car number 97, Scott Speed. Paul Holton losing out on two places. Bear in mind, this is the battle for P12 in the race, and the battle is not over yet. All the way down the inside, carrying much too much speed, goes Exgard. Exgard will be back out on track. Scott Speed there in car number 97. Exgard and Holton absolutely together. Holton is pushed out onto the runoff area. He will come back on now, though, just ahead of uh, Patrick Exgard. What a battle this is to watch. And there are battles thick and fast throughout the field of the Audi Sport TT Cup. This man hasn't had to battle too much. He's going to take win at number two across the opening weekend. Sheldon van der Linde then is a winner again at Hockenheim with a uh, supreme margin over our P2 driver, Niklas Nielsen, who we see across the line now. 7.2 seconds Sheldon van der Linde had. Hofbauer, Lapalainen take P3, P4. Then it was uh, Marshall and uh, Josh Kegel comes home P6. So the Audi Sport TT Cup, race two, done and dusted, off next to the Nürburgring. Here is the uh, top ten then, uh, van der Linde, Nielsen, Hofbauer, Lapalainen, and Marshall, Kegel, Lindholm, Hofer, Ellis and Garcia Redest rounding out the uh, top ten. Well, it's only right and proper, isn't it, that uh, Sheldon van der Linde should kiss his mum on Mother's Day. There's Jordan Lee Pepper offering his congratulations and also Sean van der Linde, dad in the uh, mix as well. And there in the Drivers' Championship, 50 points for Sheldon van der Linde as they head off to the Nürburgring in support of the 24-hour race, the van der Linde name, one to watch. Definitely you need to keep your feet on the ground. It's still long to go in the season. And, uh, yeah, we just need to keep doing these, these performances and I think... Uh, We'll be doing well this season. I'm really satisfied with the result, especially about the result I have yes had yesterday. I um, was actually really disappointed to finish on a P10 after being on P6 for a while. Um, but overnight we did a few changes on the car and it really helped for this uh, second race. So, yeah, starting off P5 and finish P2 with these hard guys and hard racing. Uh, I mean, I cannot be, um, I can only be satisfied with that. Good to hear from uh, Niklas Nielsen as the drivers Enjoy their podium moment in the sunshine. It's watched by many in the pit lane here at Hockenheim. And uh, we'll see you next at the Nürburgring. Bye-bye for now.